And then uh, the last story, I guess, uh, Sean Ross Sapp, to circle back to that, he interviewed Lou Fisto. Are you familiar with her? Yeah, man. She's a fucking hardcore champ. She's in the GCW uh, Hall of Fame. We follow Lou Fisto. Um, I, was say, I, I was familiar with her well before this. Um, but a lot of people on Twitter, the sentiment now is, who the fuck is Will- Lou Fisto? The AEW fans, I guess, who are sticking up for AEW because Lou Fisto yeah, went on... Retired, yeah. Lou Fisto went on Sean Ross Sapp show and completely shit Gross. all over Dustin Rhodes and AEW. Completely shit, said that they were little kids. It was like being in high school. You have people on one end of the building talking shit about the people down the hall. And basically, all the shit CM Punk said. What do you make of well, this? Why, why, why is she shoot fucking clapping at gold dust? I don't know, like, the specifics of it all. Um, the problem was that I was going to listen to the interview, but we have our own podcast to do. So I was like, I'll get into it later. But I can I can go on X and uh, X. How fucking stupid is that? And um, I can look up Gotta some, like, it, yeah. Lou Fisto, oh. Sean Ross Sapp stuff. Um, Lou Fisto, 20 minutes ago, just X'd out. <laughs> I had a one-hour phone call with a current AEW talent. The women who actually addressed the problems I did today were the ones sent home by Tony Khan. There was a meeting to shoot on Thunder Rosa that Khan attended. Before leaving, he reminded them that. (laughs) And I tweeted out, I quote tweeted one of these, and I was like, so it looks like we were right. And some Mark responded to us was like, blood thinks he's part of the team. And I'm like, no, we were right. Like, literally, me and Hairline were right, you fucking bots. Do you really think Punk's (laughs) in the wrong? Like, it's people stirring shit up, talking shit, trashing people. (laughs) Fucking Tony Khan's putting up with it. I I love when you call them bots and they just get so much more mad. I'm not a bot! Actually, I'm not a (laughs) bot. Yeah, you'd be a bot, bro. Sorry, (laughs) NPC, yeah. I'm verified. I'm verified. Elon! <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Um, okay. <laughs> let me so let me reiterate what Lou Fisto said because this is crazy. This is what we said, dude. Thunder Rosa ain't on we TV. Heard this all already, They're just sending them to fucking collision. Okay, and then now there's a trend. Hashtag WWE women deserve better. That's trending right now. And why do you think that Hold is? On. What's trending? WWE women deserve better. Why? Why do you think? Because Lou Fit because the news right now is Lou Fisto trashes the AEW locker room and the women and all that shit. So now the bots go, they stir up the WWE actually women need better. I'm telling you, it's like oh, bot. Yeah, yeah. It's a That's what they do on our TikTok. Thing. Like there's people being paid yeah. somehow That's to do this. Do, there's yeah, bot yeah. farms, bro, yeah. that exist. If you know anything about the music industry, yeah, you know sure. about how these artists buy hits for their shit. This is what yeah, people yeah. do for Twitter. Everywhere where numbers can be tabulated online, people are doing this. So that's all I'm saying um, from fucking the highest level to the lowest level. So <clears throat> there's some delusion. So Lou Fisto says, um, I had a one hour phone call with current AEW ta- talent. The women who actually addressed the, addressed the problems I did today were the ones sent home by Tony Khan. And there was a meeting to shoot. Like, so there was literally a meeting to shoot on Thunder Rosa that Khan went to, bro. Before leaving, he reminded them that their segments were the lowest. So Khan goes to the women and go, your segments are the lowest. These turned into events, bro. When some girls arranged a meeting to talk about (laughs) Baker's crew. Listen to this. When listen to this. When some girls arranged a meeting to talk about Baker's crew. So Uh, in AEW All Access, Baker's little crew of girls where they're all sitting there and Baker's just talking shit. One of them ran to Britt to let her know the girls that wanted to address the problem were the ones punished. Things didn't get better. They got worse. The legitimate wrestlers believe Tony doesn't give a damn about women's wrestling and feel like they are going back to the divas era. Ask me who the fuck am I? Tell me I'm irrelevant and that I'm doing this for attention. Call me a liar. Tell me to kill myself. You keep on closing your eyes and supporting human beings with shitty behavior. With the messages of support and especially this phone call I received from AEW employees, 
this nobody did the right thing i know we knew this airline but this is just confirmation and i believe what she's saying um yeah so the ratings here they're not doing too good Um, i feel how bad do we feel for fucking thunder rosa man do you know what i mean like what the fuck man like because she stood up and went uh we're doing bullshit tony can we not do bullshit oh you know uh, bullshit will be great let's go it's gonna yeah, sell the water uh, and of course it'll make a new show and you guys you know there even though you'll get the most ratings fucking trash bro god damn well no you can't what do you mean it's trash i just had shit to go against <laughs> yeah God. Squandering God. for you marks who go, how is they squandering? What if they squandered? Look at what he's like. They this, there's people Get there up. who think they're going back to the divas era. Is it a coincidence? Lou Fisto, CM Punk, people who have been there, done that. And I'm not saying Lou Fisto's been a WrestleMania, but you know, people know who she is and shit, bro. It's and then to, and then exactly tell me to kill myself. And then while all this is going on and people are going, oh, Tony Khan, look, yeah, look at the women's T-Rex. division. This is what we're saying. He doesn't care about women's wrestling. He doesn't know how to book women's wrestling. What happens, hairline? The bots come out and say, hashtag WWE women deserve that. Yeah, look at that hashtag. Let's read some of that. Jugs full buster. The last time women. <laughs> now check this out. He's got an anime okay. profile pick, dude. The last Shocker. time women main evented a WWE, dude, listen to this. The last time women WW main evented a WWE pay per view. Hashtag women deserve better. And the picture is Sasha and Bianca who main evented WrestleMania. Jesus, goddamn Christ! But there's been fucking what? Jesus. And then AEW neckbeards. I bet you pee sitting down. <laughs> he responded to that. Thing. Um, Heart that. Look, see this same guy. I refreshed it and he's back again. Just I've had enough. I finally had enough. Hashtag WWE women deserve better. <laughs> it's just people. Saying, it's just box, Biden! bro. Reply with your favorite women's Biden. matches and hashtag WWE women deserve better and we want equality. So what about AEW though? And then they'll go, what about them? No, but here's a real story. It's not just a bunch of robots saying oh, WWE up. deserves better. It's fucking literally they're going, no, dude, look how bad Tony Khan's treating the women and how bad these women got treated over here. And now the whole, it's going to be, but what about is it? <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just get blowjobs. Yeah. yeah. I just get blowjobs yeah. and pay them to leave me alone. I don't pay to come. I pay them to leave. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My women can wrestle yeah. good. Tony Khan, yeah. I used your footage on my fucking Cody Rhodes documentary. What are you going to do? Sue me. 